homage to the herring, red herring. It's a red painting. Exactly. Wooden recyclable uh, knives that I accidentally got from like regrettably ordering Uber Eats and um, I try not to throw things away. I feel bad that we have such a footprint in this world. So I wrap tape around them and turn them into a stencil of sorts. And it kind of, yeah, it almost reminds me of like the inverse of that stencil shape. It reminds me of the picket fence. Yeah, and there's a lot of thin layers of different kind of qualities of orange, red, yellow to build up complexity. And then this was just negating a lot of the, the information that was in there. Oh, this is Sennelier oil stick. When you use an oil stick, it kind of, it's like this. It uh, rubs off over the surface. You get this resistance of the, of the canvas. And I didn't, I try to disguise the way I apply paint. So this was actually using the styrofoam to pull like a Richter kind of pull and it filled the kind of surface of the, um, that resistant surface of the canvas. We've just filled it full of oil, get these kind of, these vertical striations. So it's all about surface. I can get in there. It's, uh, yeah, it's a nice, juicy surface and there's multiple colours. This is like a purple and uh, the centre, that's where the kind of Rothko-esque kind of shape comes from. Yeah, when you're using like one, this is a red paint, but there's so much, there's so much room to move within one kind of framework of a colour by introducing yellow or purple green, you can have it look like a monochrome, but it's actually pretty chromatically varied, but it kind of break your own rules and yeah, create visual complexities and color and form and application, thick gloss oil, and then this kind of super high gloss Hashim um, enamel paint, enamel aerosol that's um, yeah, it still looks like it's wet. Still looks like it's dripping. I love this bit here. It's just, it looks like it's still, mm. still moving. It's not just a red painting. 